how to switch from a negative attitude. Hey, Jason here, and we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday where we were uh, talking about attitude. And remember, these are the same changes that I use that helped me go from being 600 pounds, barely able to walk, to the person that's uh, standing in front of you today, traveling the world, and now living in my fourth country. And so, let's get back into the definition from the study material that I'm using, and it was uh, described attitude as the composite of your thoughts, feelings, and actions, which in turn produces your results. And we broke when we broke that down yesterday, we said, so that means the attitude is a composite of our self-talk in our head, on what we say about ourselves, our emotional state, how are we actually feeling, are we in a good mood or a bad mood, and how we're acting towards that goal. And that's how we actually get success or results. And so, <clears throat> The beauty about this is, this is showing, so if we apply this to any area of our life, like how I did it with, weight, uh, with my uh, health and my, with my weight, once you start changing your attitude towards it, you're guaranteed to start getting different results because you're approaching it from a completely different way. And, <clears throat> and so how do you actually start to change your attitude? Like that's the funny thing, like it sounds easy looking at it on paper, it sounds easy even saying it to you through the camera, but how do you actually do it? Because this is the key to us actually uh, obtaining success in every area of our life. And remember, I focus on three areas, which is happiness, health, and wealth. But uh, think about it like this can be success ranging from monetary to a goal on the scale. And so if we all start learning how to change our attitude towards things, recognizing our attitude towards certain things, we can start guaranteeing the results that we want in life. And so the, the, um, <clears throat> the first way that you can actually start changing your attitude is by breaking down the words in success. And the two words we're gonna break down is worthy and ideal. So worthy, remember Earl Nightingale uh, described it as, it has to be worthy enough for us to exchange our life for. So this is something that we are willing to change for. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like for me, the person I had to change to, to be able to not no longer be 600 plus pounds, no longer have to sleep with a CPAP, CPAP machine uh, at night, no longer have to take over 40 plus pills for pains and blood pressure management stuff. I'm pretty happy. I am very happy to be honest with you, to change to the person I am. A lot of times we think, oh, change is a hardship, but we're, cause we're thinking of only what we're giving up. We're not thinking of what we're actually gaining. And so this is why this is very key to understand the, um, the context of the word worthy because you want to change. You want to give up and sacrifice everything you once was to obtain this goal. Because let's say if it's a goal to become a millionaire, do you, if you could be, to be a millionaire with the mindset that you have today, you would already be a millionaire. So there's something you need to change to do or change to become and that's how you'll become a millionaire. And so then the second word is ideal. And remember, ideal was an idea that we fall in love with or a goal. So to me, breaking these two words down, it means a big goal, a massive goal, a goal that we will fall in love with because it's gonna change not only our lives, but probably the life of our family, if you have kids, all of these type of things. So really think about it. When was the last time you had a really, really big goal? Or do you even know how to get to a big goal? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, um, when I first got into the law of attraction stuff, I did not believe in it, I didn't like it. Uh, you know, people, oh, let's manifest a dollar. And I'm like, look dude, a dollar is not gonna change my life. Like, if we're not gonna get to, the, to real stuff that can change my life, I don't believe in this. And that held me back a lot from really understanding the law of attraction. And it took me to finding the Bob Proctor program to where it was really someone talking about how to get real money, how to become successful, how to have your own private jets. Like, that's where I was like, okay, now this is law of attraction, like trying to just get a dollar. So really think about it. Like you may have been programmed or just been around a bunch of people your whole life saying, oh, reach for these small goals. And now you may start thinking that these small goals could be a big goal when it's really not. So what I'm gonna do with you, um, and uh, if you have a pen and piece of paper, go ahead and get ready. If you don't, just uh, pause the video and get some. But you're gonna write down 
three letters, H-H-W. It's going to mean happiness, health, and wealth. And leave enough space to write at least five things under each one. And so once you do that, then uh, for each one, and take your time on this. Like, this is your life. This is for you to get to your success. So you don't have to rush this at all. It's between you and you. And write down the five biggest goals that you have for each one. What are your five goals for being happy? What are your five goals for your health? What are five goals for your wealth? And really just take your time and just write them down. Once you have five for each one, then go back through each column and then you uh, uh, number them one through five. One being the one that you want the most for each. And so now once you have those done for each, uh, cap, each uh, row, go in and pull all three number ones out and label them down below it. Now, analyze it again and label them one through three and see as one is the one that you want the most. Now you have your biggest goal. And now here's the most important thing to, to do. Sit there, read that goal, and now just think about how would you feel when you're actually having that goal. If it's a new car you want, if it's a new house, if it's a certain weight you want to be, if it's being in a certain outfit, if it's living in a certain country, how would you actually feel? And now that's where you want to start focusing on how to change your attitude.